Understanding Codeine Addiction. My name is Adrian Reynolds. I'm the Clinical Director of Tasmania's Alcohol and Drug Services and I'm the President of the Royal Australasian College of Physicians Chapter of Addiction Medicine. As of the 1st of February 2018, all compound analgesics containing codeine were no longer available over the counter and they now require a doctor's prescription. I'm here today to talk to GPs about how to manage patients who present or are referred to them as a result of the recent upscheduling of codeine containing medicines. As a doctor specialising in addiction medicine, I see and am very aware of the wide ranging harms associated with these medicines and they include an alarming increase in the number of overdose related deaths and a range of other medical harms. I therefore strongly support the recent upscheduling of these medicines. This is a rich opportunity for GPs to provide high quality care to their patients who are finding themselves in difficulty as a result of using these medicines. In diagnosing opioid dependence, the key indicators are a loss of control, patients describing a craving and compulsion to use, continuing to use despite a range of harms, including medical harms, and also obtaining and using these medicines becomes more important than other life priorities. If this is the case, the GP should remain non-judgmental but have a clear and honest discussion with the patient about what is going on in, in their lives, the problems that these medicines may have contributed to, and work through how the GP can assist the patient to arrive at a better treatment plan that is safer and that is going to be more effective for them. In assessing patients who present with problems related to these medicines, the first thing is for the GP to assess whether there's evidence of sedation or intoxication or opioid withdrawal signs and symptoms. That gives the GP a very good head start in determining whether they can treat the patient safely and with confidence or whether they may need to consider referral to an addiction medicine specialist. There are a range of tools that are also available to GPs and these tools will be made available on the website. They include a codeine screening tool, there's a, a clinical opioid withdrawal scale that uh, doctors can access and that gives them objective signs to examine for in the patient and there's a scoring regimen that goes with the cows and that gives them some indication of the presence and level of dependence. And there are a range of other drug and alcohol related assessment tools, for example the audit tool that patients can actually self-administer in the waiting room to assess whether there are other drug and alcohol problems, in this case an alcohol dependence. And then there are further tools such as the ASSIST, which is a WHO tool, to assist the presence of other drug problems in the patients. That assessment allows the GP to have a more global assessment of whether this patient has and the extent of their drug problem and also informs them whether they can treat the patient themselves or once again, whether they need the advice or direct support of more specialised drug and alcohol services. If a GP is waiting for their patient to be seen by an addiction medicine specialist, the first key consideration is patient safety. Patient safety really depends on what medicines the patient's actually been taking, how much, for how long, and related harms that may have already arisen. Also, of course, other medical and mental health issues need to be assessed and considered. It's really important that the doctor not jump to prescribing other psychotropic medicines that alter the way people or their patients think, feel or behave. What we don't want doctors to do is jump to prescribing other medicines that are low value and high risk. The reason these medicines were up schedule was to address that very problem. Once your patient starts seeing an addiction medicine specialist, it will be important for you to remain involved in their care. Not only the, the treatment of their other medical conditions, but the treatment and management of their opioid problem that has been identified. It'll be really important for you to continue working in parallel with the addiction medicine specialists and to providing coordinated care for the patient's best outcomes. In each of the states and territories, there are specialist drug and alcohol services and doctors who specialise in addiction medicine and GPs should be forthcoming in contacting those specialist services and health professionals for advice and indeed what GPs will find is those specialist services are very keen to upskill GPs to provide training and support to them. There aren't enough addiction medicine specialists in the country to see every patient who presents with an alcohol 
or other drug problems. So it really is vital that GPs do upskill and develop their confidence to assess and manage patients presenting with codeine problems and other drug and alcohol problems. This is a really rich opportunity for doctors to help patients whose lives may be dominated by their addiction. It's an opportunity for doctors to free patients from the chains of addiction and help them get on with their lives. It's a chance for doctors to help patients achieve better health outcomes today and into the future. To learn more about the coding rescheduling decision, visit nps.org.au forward slash OTC coding.